Parts of the Bay Area, the power is slowly coming back online, but thousands of PG&E customers are still in the dark right now. This is the latest map. The purple triangles indicate who's affected by the public safety power shutoff outages, the majority in the North Bay and the Peninsula. As many as 30,000 customers impacted right now, but in Oakland and other parts of the East Bay, some relief tonight. As the lights, as you can see, are back on. NBC Bay Area Show Heard has a look at another difficult day for many in the Bay Area. The businesses you see here were shut down for about 20 hours, essentially losing money for the entire day. One business owner tells me it's an exercise that's becoming all too familiar this time of year. The owner of Oakland's TGI Oni Sushi drove an hour to check on his shop tonight. Like other business owners, he had to make sure the power shutoff didn't cause his circuits to blow. It's okay, but last time it's more worse. Today is only one day, so, and also it's not a Friday, so it's okay. What can survive? That's because the lights were turned off just before midnight last night. They came back on around 7:30. We we're hoping to have some sushi for dinner tonight, and uh, unfortunately, because the power's out, it uh, looks like we're going to have to have uh, figure out some other plans. PG&E laying out their plans for overnight and tomorrow. By 10 a.m., uh, we should see the winds on the decrease, and, and we'll begin to start issuing a weather all clears. The all clear can't come soon enough for the Simpkins family, who live in Napa, where power will be off until tomorrow night. This generator is providing relief for Cliff, but it's not helping his granddaughter, who can't do distance learning without the internet. It's for a reason, but I don't see any wind or anything, and there's no wind yesterday. Just seems pointless at the moment. Meanwhile, PG&E is asking for patience. Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.